<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to class. I'm Michelle. Today's class will be about an hour, and we're going to just get right to it. A lot of movement, so if you need a break, just take a break, a child's pose, whatever comes. Let's get started. Child's pose, toes together, knees wide or close, depending on how you're feeling at this moment. Nestle your belly between your thighs. See if you can feel your rib cage between the inner legs and stretch your arms out in front of you or bring your arms back behind you. If you have a block or a strap, it might be useful, but not necessary. And we'll just begin to ground, connecting to our breath. Taking a little scan of our body. Noticing any areas in your body that you might be feeling right now. From your toes, up the legs, the back, the shoulders, the hands, the head. Remember your body only is felt when there is a sign of tension or tightness, soreness. So I want you to lean into those areas and breathe in deeply. And exhale slowly. And we'll start to connect a little deeper to these sensations just by activating our ujjayi breath. Ujjayi breath is breathing in and out of the nose, constricting the muscles in the very back of your throat. Breathing in very deeply and exhaling out very slowly. Allow your exhales to linger just a little bit longer, being mindful to empty out all the stale air in your lungs. When you're ready to begin, start to activate your pose. Stretch your fingertips out further. Tent all 10 fingertips. And then inhale, lift up your torso and walk your hands over to the right. And when you get into the pose, stop and just breathe. Cultivate as much stillness as you can. Really hone in on these sensations right now on the left side of the body. So as I take you through the flow, little areas of your body will maybe start talking to you. I want you to focus on them. Each pose we do gives us a way to open up and cleanse little by little. One more inhale over here, which will take about three on each in each pose. Make sure to finish with a complete exhalation. And then your transitions are inhaling. So what would your breath look like mirrored through your transition, moving your arms to the left? And then when you get there, it's like being at a red light. Stop. Observe. Breathe. And sometimes when we, we get to that red light, we go to our minds and our, our thoughts and where we just came from or where we're going. So the same thing's going to happen here. The mind's going to want to get active. So we use our ujjayi breath to keep us present, to keep us right here on our mat and in our bodies. Bring it back to center. Hit that stop button again. Maybe even visualize yourself at a red light and set an intention 
or a centering thought to keep you focused on your breath. It's your breath that's going to keep you in the present moment. Inhale, lift up to all fours, and we'll start to wave our spine in our cat cows. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over your knees, triceps wrap around to the back, opening up the shoulders. Inhale, let the belly go, lift your gaze, lift your tail. And on an exhale, round and curl, articulating through your spine as you push away from the earth with your hands, your shins, and the tops of your feet. Inhale, let the belly go. And exhale, round and curl. So right now I am going through a little something in my mid back. So I am gonna move a little bit slower, inhale, and more mindful. I'm gonna lean in with my breath, move nice and slow. Maybe pick up your feet, tuck your toes, see how that feels. Exhale as you round and curl. And right now as I'm rounding and curling, I already can feel that my tuck toes is not benefiting me. So I'm gonna flip back to the tops of my feet and I'm like, oh, okay, that feels good. So I really want you to lean in to what feels good and invite that in. Find your inner smile, find nice, kind eyes and after your last exhale and your angry cat pose we'll start to circle around the mat getting a little deeper into the sensations around your wrists all the way down into your toes and vinyasa means to link breath to movement so what would your breath look like here mirrored through these big circles? Go ahead and reverse. Right now, for me, these circles feel really, really good. I have been doing a lot of yoga, more than usual. And so I just wanna take it easy today. But feel free to step it up. If you want to go further, go further. Like lifting up your knees here would be a going further area. Bring it back to neutral and dial your fingertips back towards your knees. A nice long spine here. So this is where I start to talk about the bandhas, the mula bandha. The beginning of my inhale. I draw my mula bandha in, the space between your sit bones, your sphincter muscle. I lift my lower belly, pulling the breath through the sides of my waist and all the way up to my heart. And as I exhale, I activate Uddiyana Bandha, which is the wrapping in of the ribs, almost like you're wearing a corset and you're tightening everything up. We're gonna just lean back towards the feet, sweep the arms up and come right back down. Flip your palms up, fingertips face each other. If you're new, you might need to bend your elbows. This can be pretty intense and it doesn't work if you're just putting your fist down. That's, you're not doing anything. This, this works. If you're feeling a lot of tension, you're in the right place. If you feel tension, back off, breathe deeper. This is backing off. This is not backing off. Let's sweep it back, sweep the arms up, take a breath in, bring your hands to your heart. Remind yourself of your intention. Let's come back to all fours and prepare for downward facing dog. 
spread your fingers nice and wide. I'm really excited to get into it now that my back warmed up. I think I'm ready. Fingers wide, index knuckles pressing down, thumbs pressing down, toes tucked. Lift the low belly, activate bandhas first, and then lift your knees. Nice. Hold here for five. Lift the belly, lengthen your spine. So you want your spine, when, it, when I say neutral, to look like you would want it to look if you were standing. So not too much of an arch and not too much of a tuck, but just finding those natural curves in the lumbar and around your shoulders. Turbo dog, push your belly back towards your thighs. Push away from the mat, straighten out your arms, wrap the triceps back, lower your head, ears between the biceps, Lift your heels a little higher, lower your knees a little more if you want more. Open up the knees, maybe send your hips back. And Perry, you should definitely be in this pose right here for five, four, three, two. She might need to hit the pause button because she wants more, but we're ready. Straighten out the legs, lift up the hips. Bend your left knee, root your right heel down. Even if the heel doesn't touch, try to lift all five toes. Inhale, lift your right heel, lower your left heel. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. If you want to pedal out your feet a little faster, do that. And then we'll lift both heels and exhale. Sink your heels back behind your toes. So slightly push your heels to line up with the edges of your feet. Feel your inner thighs wrapping out and lifting up. Lift your low belly and your ribs. And then step your feet up about one foot distance and open your feet wider than your hips. Take your right hand, reach for your left ankle. You can even grab your left heel if that's possible. Give it a gentle pull. Look under your left shoulder. Oh, this should feel really good in your middle back, which is where my sensations are right now. Go ahead, release. Take a look up at your hands. Adjust if you need to. Bring it back and take your left hand back to grab your right foot, ankle, or leg. Give it a gentle pull. I understand flexibility can be an issue, so honor where you're at. One more breath. Mm, so good. Go ahead. Place your left hand down, take a look. We must look to make sure. Step the feet back, downward facing dog. We're gonna inhale, lift the heels, round your spine, and find your way in to a high plank pose. In high plank, shoulders over the wrist, fingertips gripping the mat. Heels over your toes. The quadriceps are pushing up into the back of your legs. Sit bones towards your heels. Lower belly and ribs in. Take a breath in. Start to shift the weight over your wrists. We're going to wrap the elbows in and back and lower all the way to our belly. Tops of your feet will come down. If you have nothing going on in your low back, see if you can bring your feet together. If you have something going on in your low back, separate your heels. 
We'll inhale, baby cobra. Press your feet down, press your pubic bone down. Peel your chest away from the mat. Stay here or float your hands off the mat. Close your eyes or set your gaze on something very small. So within each pose, I have a checklist. Breath, my bandhas, and my dristi, where my eyes are focused. Stretch with your arms back, separate your feet, and bring your right ear to the mat. Give your hips a little wiggle. Take a deep breath in all the way to the bottom of your lungs. Open up your mouth and say, ah. Bring your gaze back center. Bring your fingertips to align with your nipples, your hands by your floating ribs, elbows in, tops of the feet pressed down, and lift it, cobra. Elbows are bent, shoulders away from your ears, collarbones broaden, gaze lifts. Two more breaths. Inhale, pull your hands back by your hips and imagine your hips dragging up between your hands. One more breath. The end of the exhale, Lower all the way down and bring your left ear to the mat. So it's about 8.15 in the morning here in Florida. A good time to get eaten by mosquitoes. So just so you know, if you like the mosquitoes, now's a good time. Come on out. And then your final one, hands underneath your shoulders. Fingertips by the nipples, hands by the floating ribs, elbows in and up. Press down, either lift up to a baby cobra, a lifted cobra, or the full expression upward facing dog. One more breath here. Last breath here. the end of the exhale, start to lift up your hips, tuck your toes, take an inhale, and exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. We're going to take little baby steps all the way up to the top of your mat. When you get there, bring the feet together on an inhale, look up, halfway lengthen, squeeze the leg bones together. And on an exhale, fold. Tuck chin to chest. Straighten out your legs the best you can. Inhale, soften the knees as much as you need to to find a nice long spine. So if you're really round trying to straighten your legs like me, stop. Bend the knees. Belly to thighs. Look up. Exhale, fold. <clears throat> and if you want your feet apart, separate your feet. Honor your body as I am honoring mine. Inhale. On this inhale, we're gonna take the hands to the hips, elbows in, and rise all the way up. We're gonna interlace our fingers behind us, press the palms together, and inhale, look up. Exhale, bring your knuckles to the right hip and bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale up and bring your right ear, right shoulder. And back up. Palms back down towards your feet. Switch the cross of your fingers and bring your knuckles to the left. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder. And then right ear, right shoulder. Notice when you close your eyes, the swaying of your body, just the natural energy moving you. Bring it back to center, 
palms together. Inhale, belly in, tail down. Exhale here, press the palms together. On an inhale, sweep your arms out and up. From here until the end of class, movement and breath. We're gonna move a little quicker, so if you need to go slower, that's totally fine. Catch up when you can. Deep breath in, inhale. Exhale, find a little back bend. Inhale, bring the gaze forward. Open up the arms and swan dive all the way over forward. Fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften the knees. Step your right foot back, lunge. Inhale, lower the right knee. Sweep your arms up, Anjane Asana. Left knee stacks over the left wrist. Inhale, lifts you up and out of your low back. Exhale, tighten up the front body. Squeeze your inner thighs. One more inhale here. See if you can get a little longer through the sides of the waist. And on the exhale, circle it around. Frame your left foot. Lift up the right knee. Inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, first vinyasa, low push-up. Inhale, pull it through, cobra. Exhale, lift up the hips, press it back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg strokes the sky. Exhale, right foot steps all the way up between your hands. Lower your left knee, untuck the back toes, and inhale, rise up, Anjaneyasana. Your low lunge. Right big toe drives outer right hip back, and the top of the left foot and shin, inner spirals left thigh forward. One more inhale here. On an exhale, circle it around, frame your right foot, tuck your back toes. That's all and exhale. Inhale, left foot meets right. Exhale and fold. Soften your knees, look forward and up, rise all the way up to standing. Set your palms together, exhale a little back bend. Inhale, gaze forward, soften the knees, open up the arms, forward fold. We're adding on. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften the knees, step your left foot back, lunge. Lower your left knee, inhale. We're gonna move a little quicker through this one. And exhale, circle it around, frame your right foot. Inhale, straighten out the right leg, half split pose. Three breaths here. Right heel down, drag the right heel back. Left knee down, drag the left knee forward. Two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale, noticing how the breath gets deeper and deeper each time. The exhales get slower and slower each time. Inhale, lunge. Your exhale is going to bring you right down to a chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step left foot all the way up between your hands. Inhale, the right knee lowers, you rise low crescent. Exhale, circle it around, frame your left foot. Inhale, lift up the hips, lift the left toes. Three breaths here. 
steady your gaze. Focus on the work. The work is left heel, right knee, press down, draw in, lift the lower belly. Last exhalation. Inhale, lunge forward. Exhale, right foot meets your left, fold. Inhale, look forward, open up the arms, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, find the back bend. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold, adding on to what we already have. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften the knee. Step your right foot back. Keep your right knee up. Inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, left hand grabs the right wrist. A gentle side stretch to the left. If you want more, push that right heel down. Inner spiral your right thigh. Squeeze and hug the inner leg. Inhale, rise up with the arms and heel. Switch your grip and a gentle side bend to the right. Same thing, press the right heel down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come halfway. Torso is parallel to the earth as you can. And then inhale, warrior three pose. Both legs straight and strong. Arms reach back like airplane wings. Steady your gaze. One more breath. Bend your left knee. Step your right foot back. Inhale, rise. Exhale, circle it around. Frame your left foot. Inhale, right back to a low push-up as you exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Coming into warrior one pose, turn your left toes towards the top left corner of your mat. Lift your right leg back and up. Exhale, step your right foot up between your hands. So your feet are hip bone distance apart. In warrior one, I see way too often this left foot back here. No, left toes face up here. Your heels do not line up. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Right big toe drives outer right hip back. Outer left foot, spiral left thigh forward. Inhale. Exhale, cactus your elbows. Elbows draw back and down. Shoulder blades squeeze together and down. Inhale, interlace your fingers. Make a fist with your hands. Notice what thumb is on top so you can switch on the other side. On an exhale, lean forward and out, humble warrior. Tuck your chin to your chest. Try to get that right ear as low to the inside of the right knee, shin or ankle as you can. Keep breathing into what you're feeling. And then inhale, we're gonna come into awkward twists where the left hand comes down and your right hand floats up. And then we're gonna pivot all 10 toes to the right and reach your right bicep by your ear. That back leg is straight and strong. We're gonna take the right hand inside the two legs, bend your left knee and find runner stretch. Lift up the right toes. Make sure your left heel is down. 
Maybe it's on a block. Bring your hands to your heart or open up and spread your wings. Bringing the hands back in. Take the hands down or no hands up and over to the other side. Left toes are flexed, left thigh muscles engaged and externally opening. Bring your hands down, lift up, find a wide leg fold. Look at your feet, make sure they're on the same line. Turn your toes in slightly, inner arches lift, inhale halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Walk your fingertips out. Send your hips back, wide leg down dog. Lift the belly and the ribs. Zip your quads, lift your kneecaps. Keep your left fingertips tented and sweep your right arm up and hold for five. Four, keep trying to open the torso to the right, three. Keep stretching your hips back, two. Keep breathing into the left side body, one. Lower the right hand, tent the fingertips, and inhale, lift your left arm up. And lower your left hand. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders and we'll bend the knees right and left a few times. So for those of you who like to go up into headstands, feel free on the other side. We're gonna bring it all the way back around to a right side lunge. Lower the left knee. Untuck the back toes and find another half split or maybe this time full split pose. Inhale, wherever you are, we're pulling the right heel back and the left knee forward. One more breath here, maybe look over your right shoulder. Bring it back to center. We're gonna find our way back into a right side lunge, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, look forward, push off the back knee to meet your left, or left foot to meet your right foot and fold. Inhale, look up, open up the arms, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, find your back bend, lift the kneecaps, zip up your quads, lift your belly. Inhale, last little bit of this flow, soften the knees, open up the arms, lead with the heart, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step left foot back, lunge. Inhale, rise to your high crescent. Right hand grabs your left wrist, give it a gentle tug over to the right, side stretch. Maybe left heel moves closer to the earth, keep squeezing the inner legs together. Inhale, heel and arms lift, switch your grip. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come halfway down. Steady your gaze, moving into warrior three. Lift the arms, lift that left leg, both legs straight and strong. Squeeze and hug your inner thighs. Left toes face down or point away from you. One more breath, lift the belly and the ribs. 
bend the right knee, step your left foot back, sweep it up crescent, circle it around, frame your right foot, inhale back and exhale lower. Inhale up, and exhale, lift the hips, press it back and up, downward facing dog. Your right toes will face the top right corner of your mat, and your left leg lifts up and down. Exhale, step the left foot as close to your left thumb as you can to keep the feet separate. Sweep it up, warrior one. Find your foundation, your feet. Left big toe drives outer left hip back. Back right foot, inner spirals, right thigh forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, interlace. Remember to switch up your thumbs. Exhale, humble warrior. Tuck your chin to your chest, gaze to the back foot. Do your best, lift your arms away from your back. Being mindful, if you have anything going on, to take it easy. No ego and yoga. Right hand comes down for your awkward twist. Pivot all 10 toes to the left. Take your left bicep by your ear. We're gonna inhale, lift up the hips and bring it all the way over to the right for another runner's stretch. Wherever you went last time, go this time. This right arm just gently guides the right knee away. Left arm is opening up the left side body. Inhale, hands to heart. And bring your hands down or no hands and up and over to the other side. I always feel so much better right around the middle of my practice. I'm like, oh. This is why I do yoga every day. Slowly start to lift up and find your way into your wide leg fold. We walked our hands out in front of us last time. Maybe walk your hands through the two legs or maybe this is where you go up into your headstands or handstands. Are my legs even? What? If you are in a headstand and you want to do a few pike lifts, squeeze the legs together, lower the toes down, and inhale back up. Inhale lower down. Exhale when you're there, and then inhale back up. If you're still in a headstand or any other inversion, Start to make your way out. I will bring the hands underneath the shoulders. 
right hand towards the center, like right around under your chin and your left hand to the hip. Gaze to the left and lift your left arm up. Push down with your right hand, lift your right hip and lift the left arm. Lower your left hand down. And then same thing on the other side. Right hand to hip, gaze to the right, and then lift your right arm up. And then lower your right hand, and we'll bend the knees a few times. Right and left. And then we'll come all the way back around to the left. Lower your right knee for your half or full split pose. If you're in a full split, make sure your right knee and thigh are facing down, not out. Pull with your left heel, your left hip back. Focus more on your breath here. On your next inhale, we're going to lift up out of the hips. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee, and we're gonna step it back, high plank pose. Take a deep breath in here. And then bring your right hand a little closer okay. towards the center. Move your heels to the right, find a side plank. Ground your right big toe, stack your feet, or you can lower this right knee. You can even take left foot behind your right and flip your dog. Circle it around. Bring your left hand to the mat. Back to plank. And then left hand to the center. Pivot your heels. And whatever you did on the right, do over here. Try to push away from the earth so you're not sinking into the joints, engaging your muscles, engaging your core. Circle it around, bring it back high plank. Lift your right leg. Tent your left fingertips, stay there, stretch your left hand forward for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower and switch, lift the left leg. Tent your right fingertips or float the hand up for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the right hand, pause here. We're going to stretch our legs back, extend your plank, keep lifting your low belly, stretch and push your feet back, push your hands forward for five, four, three, two, and one, lower the elbows, forearm plank for five, four, Three, two, one. We'll do 20 sphinx lifts and lowers. Down, exhale, lift. Inhale, down, exhale, lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Move to your right elbow. Move your right hand in a little for stability. Stack your feet. Take your hand on the hip. Lower the right hip down and up for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, deep breath in, left forearm down, pause, pivot to the other side, right hand on the hip, lower lift for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, forearm plank, and then we'll lower the knees, sphinx pose, to a shoulder stretch. Take your right arm, cross it underneath, cross it underneath the chest, across the chest, and then walk your left hand out to the right. Take a deep breath in, try to let go. If you wanna make it active, press into your palms and imagine pulling the floor closer to you. One more breath. Mm. Take your left arm out first, then your right, then the left arm goes first, and then the right goes over. Mm. One more breath. Bring it back in, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, bring your gaze down so the neck is long and circle your shoulders around and reverse it. And then reach back with your hands, interlace your fingers, bring your forehead on the mat. Three breaths here. Just lift your hands a little bit away from your tailbone. One more breath. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press into the feet. Inhale, peel your spine away, or peel your chest away from the mat. Look up. And exhale, child pose. Deep breath in. Open up your mouth and say, ah. Lift yourself up, walk your knees all the way up. If you wanna do a jump through, go ahead, downward facing dog, float it through. Meet me in boat pose with support and bent knees. Hold it here for five or no hands. Four, three, two, one, we're gonna lift the right leg for five, four, three, two, one, left leg for five, four, three, <laughs> two, uh, one, my whole body's like, woo, right side for five, four, three, two, one, left side, five, four, three, two, one, both legs for five, four, three, two, and one, 
bring your feet in, get a yogi grip on your big toes, either kick one foot out at a time or both, and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to lower the legs down nice and wide, walk the hands out, and fold all the way over as best you can and holding it here for five. Four. Notice my feet are flexed. They're not rolling in. I'm not flexing them too much, but enough to keep them my toes up. Two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, lift yourself up. Bring your legs together and cross your right foot over the left knee. Left hand behind you, right hand, right hand behind you, left hand hugs the right knee. Inhale, look over the right shoulder. There's my sweet baby. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Siblings. Siblings. <laughs> Bring it back to center and switch. No! Oh! He just fell. He just fell. You're so mean. Oh. I can't right now. <laughs> Bring it back to center. Sweep your arms up. There's my honey. And exhale, fold. Fold all the way over. I'm about to get up in a second. We're gonna take one more breath here. I apologize, my pet squirrels need me. Hi. We're gonna slowly roll ourselves up and roll ourselves all the way down to our backs. <laughs> hmm. Just take a moment, let it all soak in. right now. I think it might have been the bad one that fell out of the tree, which is good. Inhale, reach your arms over your head. <laughs> Exhale, press the back down and bring your knees in. Give yourself a big hug here. Lower your head and rock it side to side. Maybe circle your knees around in the opposite direction. And reverse it. Coming into pigeon pose. Right ankle on the left thigh, right hand through the hole. Pulling the left leg in. Breathing in deeply and exhaling out slowly. Stay here for about another 45 seconds.
go ahead switch lifting both legs up and placing your left ankle on the right thigh the more I do these videos the more you get to know who I really am <laughs> is a time to calm down, sense of relaxation mode. So often we move through our day in fight or flight mode, in task oriented mode, where we forget about our surroundings and we forget to just be and breathe in the moment rather than rushing ahead or feeling as if we were falling behind but just pausing to breathe lift both legs lift both hands and wiggle your fingers and your toes and then prepare for bridge pose. Feet hip bone distance apart, hands by your side, palms down, breath in. Exhale, ground down and in with your feet and peel your spine off the mat. Option to keep your palms down, option to, which I'm gonna stay in this option, interlace your fingers or I'll just show you, option to reach your arms up and over your head. And then your final option would be a full wheel. And because of what's going on in my mid back, I did a lot of gardening yesterday with the aloe. So I think I'm just a little sore from all of that. My yoga practice is definitely helping me work through it. So I'm very grateful to all the yogis before me that made all of this possible. One more breath here. Start to slowly lower down on your next inhale. Lift your legs back up, lift your arms back up, rest everything for five, four, three, two, happy baby pose, hands to the inner arches or outer edges, knees wide, tail down, Shoulders away from your ears. If you want more, kick into your hands. Maybe straighten just one leg at a time. Maybe both. One more breath. Bringing the knees together, giving yourself a little hug, maybe rock it side to side, massaging the low back. And then we'll cross the right knee over the left. Relax your legs. And then we'll open up the arms wide like a T or cactus, or I just like to rest my hands behind my head, not supporting my head, but just in contact. Lift your hips, scoot your hips to the left, and then lower your knees. I mean, scoot your hips to the right, lower your knees to the left.
one more breath. Is there another two over there? Everybody picks on our baby. Slowly bring it back in. On the ground. Bring it back to center. Where? And cross your left knee. Over your right. And then we'll scoot the hips to the left. You know, he just chased the baby away anyway. Now he got chased away. And bring the knees to the right. This class is just so peaceful. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's fine. Little interruptions in life happen. Doesn't mean we stop practicing, just means we continue to move on. But I will tell you, when the video stops, I'm gonna go get that squirrel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm. can always return back to your breath, no matter what happens, no matter what distracts you, no matter what frustrates you or throws you out of your center. You have the control to bring yourself back. Bring it back to center. Let's give our knees a little hug, give ourselves a little hug. Lower your head down. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Lower your knees down or your feet down. Let the knees gravitate out wide. Palms by your arms by your side. Palms face up. Rock your ears a few times, just making sure there's no tension in your neck. Create a little space between your lips. Return back to normal breathing, observing the breath as it flows effortlessly in and out. Feel free to end here or stretch your legs all the way out to each corners, letting your feet flop open like a book. And I hope if this class taught you anything, it taught you that you can come back to your breath when you get pulled away from it and return to your center. <laughs>